Okay, it's a nice sunny day. So I thought I'd read to you from my balcony today. This is Hans Christian Andersen's Fairy Tales, and I'm just gonna read the beginning of one today. This one is called The Sandman. And there's a little story for every day. So this is Mondays. Here's the picture. All right, here we go. Now then, the Sandman said one evening when he put Hidmar to bed, I'm gonna make your room look pretty. And all the flowers in their pots grew and became tall trees with long branches that went all along the ceiling and down the walls. So the whole room looked like a beautiful place. The branches were covered with flowers and every one of them was even lovelier than a rose. They were wonderfully fragrant too. And if you ate one, it tasted sweeter than jam. Golden fruit gleamed among the branches and buns full of raisins hung on them too. It was a wonderful sight. But then a pitiful wailing was heard coming from the drawer of the table where Hachimar put his school books. What's all this? asked the Sandman. And he went to the table and opened the drawer. It was Jamal's slate making the noise. One of the figures in the sum, one of the figures in the sum on it was wrong. And all the others were pushing and shoving until the whole slate was in danger of falling to bits. The slate pencil was leaping and jumping about like a little dog on the end of a string, trying to help correct the sum. You know, he was doing math, sum, as in the answer of an addition problem. But it couldn't. More wailing came from his math book. It was really a miserable sound. Each page had a capital letter and a small letter written on it as examples to be copied out in rows. Other letters stood next to these handsome ones and thought they looked the same, but they were letters Jamal had written. And they were lying about all over the place as if they'd fallen over the penciled line instead of standing on it properly. Look, this is the way to stand, said the handsome copybook letters. You want to slope this way with a nice flourish, don't you? We only wish we could, said the letters Jamal was set, had written, but we feel so poorly we can't. Then you'd better have some medicine to make you better, said the Sandman. No, no, cried the letter, standing up straight at once. Well, I can see we won't get any stories told this evening, said the Sandman. I'd better drill these letters. One, two, one, two, he shouted, drilling the letters until they stood up straight and handsome as copy letters should. However, when Jamal looked at them in the morning after the Sandman had left, they were just as bad as ever. And there, if you look closely, you can see all the letters. I'll read Tuesdays tomorrow. <laughs>